Number one, Will Rasmussen. Number eight, Cooper Powell. Number 10, Carson Dutton. Number 12, Ethan Stake. Number 13, Zach Fleet. Number 17, Josh Statton. Number 22, Quinn Kornick. And number 27, Colin Kelly. And that lets you know the starting lineup for the Panthers. Leading off, the designated hitter, number three, Cash Lyle. Lyle, the DH. Batting second, the right fielder. Number 14, Brock Zimmer. Zimmer in right field. Batting third, the third baseman. Number 25, Max third base. Batting fourth, the center fielder. Number four, Shortstop. Number seven, Weston Ballard. Ballard at shortstop. And on the mound for the Panthers, number 11, Ethan Gertis. Gertis on the mound tonight for the Panthers. The head coach of Collierville Heritage is Alan McDougal. And now let's come to the reserve lineup for the Richland Royals. We'll begin with number six, Mason Lockley. Number nine, Asher Jaggers. Number 10, Isaac Lopez. Number 12, Colin Norris. Number 16, Carter Guyton. Number 17, Jared Lopez. Number 20, Eddie Lugo. Number 23, Mason Gray. And number 26, Colton Williams. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the starting line for the Richmond Royals. Leading off the Royals, playing in left field, number 21, Leo Salas. Salas in left field. Batting second, the second baseman, number two, Sebastian Lopez. Lopez at second base. Batting third. The first baseman, number 29, Manny Salas. Salas at first base. Batting fourth. And pitching for the Royals tonight, number one, Christian Smith Johnson. Smith Johnson on the mound tonight for the Royals. Batting fifth, the catcher, number 25, Marshall Maynard. Maynard behind the plate tonight for Richmond. Batting sixth, the third baseman. Number eight, Jackson Strickland. Strickland at the hot corner for the Royals. Batting seventh, the right fielder. Number seven, Justin Chirinos. Chirinos in right field. Batting eighth, the designated hitter. Number three, Tanner Paris. Paris, the DH tonight for the Royals. Batting ninth, the shortstop. Number four, Cesar Ibarra. Ibarra at shortstop. And also in the lineup for the Royals, playing center field, number 27, Colton Robertson. Robertson in center field for Richland. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time to honor America, would you please rise for the playing of our national anthem.
Good evening and welcome to Richland Yard in North Richland Hills, Texas. Hey fans, once again, I'd like to remind you the concessions. So we have Richland and Royals a baseball like for you on deck. Yes, you can have dinner at the baseball game. We are excited. We're not we feel like a baseball season yet with the, the weather being dark, cloudy, gloomy, and 29 mile per hour winds in play. But nonetheless, it is late March and baseball is underway. Richland Royals hosting Collier Heritage Pan uh, Panthers in a division matchup. I'm Brendan Snow, excited to be with you, sitting right, uh, right behind home plate. Get that front close angle. Forgive us for the nets and the cameras, there's only so much you can do, but we're gonna have a fun game out here. Been hanging out with the Richland crowd early and seems like a good environment for some baseball. Over Heritage is the Panthers will be in the all black and the black tops with the gray bottoms and the pinstripes along with the red letterings and red under the arms while Richland will be in the field first. They're sporting the all white pinstripes, blue letters and numbers, blue high socks, a little bit of red mixed in there. Leading off for the Panthers. As we are the Wow. Set for some baseball on the mound to start things off for Richland. It's going to be Christian Smith Johnson, number one. He'll be met by Cash Lyle, a senior DH. And he'll take ball one. We are underway. First pitch, 732. That one across the outside corner for strike one. Lyle, a righty pitcher in the windup. Very solid motion on his rotation and and his windup. Throws inside for ball two. We'll get the lineups in field set as we go. Contacting that one foul left side. To the Panthers dugout, two and two. Cash Lyle on deck, Brock Zimmer. He'll be followed by Max Tochik. That one rolling inside to Lyle. Lyle, nine games played in the season, 27 at bats, or 27 play appearances, 21 at bats, nine hits. Striking out one time. Put that one in play in the air, right side. A lot of wind, right field is going on. Find it at the line. He does catch it made by Caesar Ibarra for round number one. Now batting for the Panthers, the right fielder, number 14, Brock Zimmer. And that brings up Brock Zimmer, another senior. He's in right field defensively. Block number 14 from the right-handed hitter. First pitch inside. Smith Johnson falls behind 1-0 oh, to the second hitter he faces. Brock Zimmer actually he takes ball too low and inside. Brock Zimmer, the team leader in home runs and RBIs on the Panthers. Just three homers and 14 runs batted in and 14 runs scored. Been the best hitter for the Panthers so far and that one just gets the inside corner to run it two and one. Five pitches. Now batting for the Panthers, the third baseman, number 25, Max Tuchik. 
So Zimmer gets on and it brings up the third baseman, Max Tochik. Tochik Jr. Right, it was 25, listed as 23 on the roster. And yeah, he'll take strike one first time. Smith Johnson's got a first pitch strike. Tochik, the most at bats for the Panthers. It's 53 point pair. Er, yeah, 53 plate appearances, 45 at bats. Feels like that one for a ball. 11 hits for Tojic. Four of them for extra bases. A couple of doubles. He hasn't left the park on the year. And that one's going to be a screamer to third and unable to come up to the third baseman. And all the way to left field for a leadoff. See, we're not thinking about it. And coming back. Runner trying to go second to third. The play. A fumble picking up the ball in left field by Leo Cyrus and Brock Zimmer tried to go first to third and the throw got him. Now batting for the Panthers, the center fielder, number two, Jake Krause. That's a play for our umpire, so it's our home plate umpire after kind of right up third to make that call. You can forgive us for all the wind sounds you're gonna be hearing mostly across all the hype broadcast tonight. 29 mile per winds coming in from the southeast, 74 degrees. As down to that is center fielder Jake Krause, and he takes ball one. Krause, the senior, plays outfield and pitches. He's in center tonight. Now the count two away. Smith Johnson loads. Trying to go inside again, but too far inside. The one, the two one, and that pitch gets away to the backstop. Bounces right back to the catcher, but still have to load up to try to make that throw. Way too late and marching down the second is Tochik. The runner in scoring position with two away. And the hitters counts. One, three, one. The three, one. Kraus slaps it to the right side. Second baseman, long way to go to his left. Can't make the play. Coming around third is Tochik. Cut off by the first baseman to the catcher. The play at the play and safe. And one and nothing. Panthers take the lead in RBI single for Jake Kraus. Now batting for the Panthers. The first baseman, number five, Trent Bauer. Thinks it one to nothing, and Kraus just his third RBI on the year, but delivers. One nothing now. What remains on first is Trent Bauer. Here take ball one, Trim Bauer. Sophomore playing first today. Bauer, another right handed hitter. Facing the righty, and he'll watch that one in for strike one. And it's a big contact put in that one, going back to center field, getting under it far to his left and making the catch. It is Colton Robertson to end the top half of the frame. 
Put us one run on, one hit, and one left on. We played half an inning. Bottom half coming up. You're watching Richland Baseball on Vibe Live Network. Mike.com and our man right down there with the headset on, Brendan Snow, is on the call. You can catch that online streaming at BYPE, that's Mike.com. Salas on this one rips it right between third baseman and shortstop for a leadoff base hit. Sebastian Lopez, second baseman, he shows butt, pulls back and takes the strike. Scoreboard on the field showing one hit last inning, but I believe it was two. They're actually tagged. The Royals with an error. It was the little bit of a bobble in the left by Salas and also the wild pitch to the backstop. The 1-1 one, one pitch. That one is high. 2-1 to Lopez. Hander, that's in there to even up the count at two apiece. Gerdes rocking long sleeves in the black top. 
stands tall, right hander working for the stretch. Contact on the left side line, but comes back. Two and two. Long pause. Two two. That's a little high and away. Runs the count full. Making Gerdes work early. Gets the lead off single to Salas now. Throw the first and it gets away all the way down the right field line. It's still kind of going towards the corner. Salas, he's got about one out in second. Holds it up there and under its fourth position now with no outs. Lopez already in a good chance to bring in a runner. Has a quick word with his pitcher, Torres to Gerdes. The 3 2. Fouled towards the third base coach once again. We'll do it again. Seventh pitch of the at bat. Just in front of the center fielder for a hit. Salas on second, held up, wasn't sure. The ball would be caught or fine grass. So that pitch runners in first and second. Still nobody out. The first baseman, Manny Salas. Lefty hitter, first one we see on the night, and his first pitch takes it for a ball. Actually, called a strike. Gets ahead on one. Gerdes checks back to second. The delivery out in front of it, the slap to the right side, and it's going to find space. The diving second baseman can't get it, but holds Salas up at third. As the second baseman got a piece of the glove on it, Sean Ferris to slow it down. The right fielder has to come in and pick it up. Brock Zimmer holds Silas on third and we've done the old three batters, three singles. Now the bases are loaded for the cleanup hitters and the pitcher, Christian Smith Johnson. Help yourself out with some insurance here. Yeah, first one will be low in the dirt for ball one. Swing and myth from Smith Johnson. One and one. One one delivery in there for a strike. One and two two. Smith and Johnson. Now one 
Jones drops it left side, third baseman to second for one, return throw to first. Jay Johnson beat it out at first, late the one out at second. And Leo Salas scores in the play. And we are knotted up at one in the first. Sebastian Lopez over to third. So he's still there with one out. A fly ball can bring him in. First pitch to the next hitter, Marshall Maynard. The catcher, another lefty. And runners going from first and they're about to throw easily. Well, Smith Johnson, the catcher, have to come out to his right with the big back catch. No throw down the way. So now you eliminate the double play situation. You got two runners in scoring position, one away, a 2 0 count to Maynard. Here it is from the stretch. Throw. Good looking outside pitch. In the corner of the black for strike one. Maynard to be followed by Jackson Strickland. That's too low, three and one. That one, ball four, walks Maynard, reloads the bases. For Jackson Strickland. Jackson The third baseman Strickland steps in. First walk issued by Gerdes and first pitch swing and getting him to home between first and second base. That's a base hit. One run scores and everyone else stays put. They play station to station with a take a 2 1 lead. Money isn't everything. I'm having a good time. It's not a money. It's not a money. Sebastian Lopez comes home to score. Number seven, Justin Chirino. Did he not get four more goals after two more in the Royal Green Panther first? What about the eye? Sitting with the stroke on fourth hit of the inning. For the Royals, it all been singles now to the plate. Let me Tanner Paris, and he will show a bunt and pull back. Bounces in the dirt, gets to the back, and off and easily scoring is Smith Johnson on the wild pitch. And time out for the Panthers and so they'll go up there and talk to Gerda. has a couple of Errant throws. A couple of that to the backstop. He missed a pick off the first. I got into the left field corner. Go to a struggling in this bottom of the first. Pitching coach Colby Goodman for Panthers.
Panthers will head out there. Make sure the Panthers are led by the coach Alan McGoogle. McGoogle's 26th year of coaching, his 18th year as a head coach, his 17th year at Colgate Heritage High School. School has put out some good players in a number of different sports. First base bag, but a home run umpire. So I'll touch the chalk too quick. There for Paris. Finally, a strike from getting out of the inning is good as. Still got runners on second and third, basically deliver a few extra runs. Soft contact, foul off the right side. Do the one and two again. To my right, as I lost out the ball, and people on the bleachers playing scatter. Looks like no harm, no foul. Lewis Salas let us off the single, and then he was followed by Sebastian Lopez with a single, and then Manny Salas singled. Bases were loaded, and Christian Smith Johnson scored a runner on a fielder's choice. Marshall Marlin, Mar Marlin came up, Mayden came up and walked. And there's another error! The first baseman was over there, kind of close to the second base side of things, trying to make that play. He doesn't. Comes up on him. The runner comes home to score. It is four to one Royals. Big shortstop number four, Caesar Ibarra. We're running down to Caesar Ibarra now. We'll score that one at 83. Paris to get on his board right now. This one stopped at the middle. Second baseman behind the bag. Backhand flips to the shortstop. And finally retires. 
the final out, but that's where the damage is done. Which in high school, the Royals are four. Hey fans, if you took four up, hits, or one or walk, four runs, and one left on. Yes, we play in. Second baseman, number six, Sean Ferris. Going back live, Brian Humphrey, Richard in the yard. Warriors and the Panthers, 4 1 after an inning. Home White's lead and to lead things off in the second inning. It's going to be Sean Ferris, the second baseman. For the Panthers. And Back on the mound after a solid first inning of work, Christian Smith and Johnson. And it's one and one on Ferris here. To the right side. Ferris with six hits on the season and 28 point appearances. Watches that one for a ball and runs the count four, three, and two. Right back at middle pass Smith Johnson into center field for a leadoff single. The first. Automatic for the Panthers, the left fielder. Number nine, Brady Fitzgerald. Brings up Brady Fitzgerald, the left fielder. Junior. The right handed hitter facing the right handed pitcher. First pitch way upstairs. Fitz Johnson takes a minute, sits back on the mound. Operating from the stretch and time called. Granted by the home plate umpire. Sean Ferris stands at first. 1 0, and that's a cross for a strike. Right. 
one one. Now Flair shows bunt, goes up to the pitcher. Smith Johnson, his throw sails in the center field. A nice job of quickly being there is Colton Robinson. And it prevents Flair from advancing, but what they're trying to do as a sack butt turns into two on. Catcher, number four, Alonso Torres. Christian Smith Johnson wanted to get the lead runner, possibly turn two. Definitely doable, but again, with these conditions, you can't assume anything in this kind of wind. Catches outside part of the play, one and one. Ferris on second, Fitzgerald on first. Smith Johnson facing Alonzo Torres, the catcher, and he has to get out of the way of that one. Two and one. Torres, right handed hitter, rocks a right arm sleeve. Two batting balls and a pretty standard stance. Slight bend of the knees. Now he shows butt and that one probably came back and got him. Torres immediately grabbed that face and started walking down the first. Check him. I didn't see if they granted him as a hit pitch or pit, uh, hit batter or if that ball hit bat first. They're going to be able to hit all the runners move up and his bases loaded. Like they're gonna give him a courtesy runner. Wouldn't expect your starting catcher to have to be out of the game for that, but they do give out courtesy runners, and it's Ethan Steech heading the first. Discussions. Between umpires and coaches, they want to make sure they're on the same page. Smith Johnson throwing with his shortstop. Stop. I had some things switched in my notes that got me thrown off. We're back to resume and strike one to Weston Ballard. Shortstop for the Panthers. Freshman. Lone freshman on the roster. side over the net, a little towards the parking lot, I parked on the far side so no worries for me, one and two, I 
that one a little low. Even up at two. It's two two five back two. Way over the net. Over the stands. Getting close to the lights on those foul balls. Bases loaded. Two two. To the eight hole hitter Ballard, freshman. Spot now four to one, top to second. Chance to get a few runs back. He swings and misses a strikeout for Smith Johnson. Now batting for the Panthers, the designated hitter, number three, Cash Lyle. Nothing to bring up. Top of the order, Cash Lyle. Lyle flew out in his first plate appearance to right. He's quickly behind, 0 oh, 2. Smith Johnson getting it going now. Cash, one of the premier names in baseball. I've been here a little bit lately. World Series stage and perfect sports name and then set down on three pitches. Back to back carries for Smith Johnson. How about for the Panthers, the right fielder, number 14, Brock Zimmer. Two away now, the base is still loaded and Brock Zimmer and what a huge opportunity this is for Smith Johnson. Loaded up the bases to start the inning. Sean Ferris single, Brady Fitzgerald bunted, and everyone was safe after the row in the center field by Smith Johnson. And then the catcher Alonzo Torres was hit by a pitch. He got a courtesy runner, and Ethan Steech, he's still at first. Smith Johnson works on Zimmer. He's got Zimmer in the hole, 0-2. Johnson working quickly from the stretch. I like it. That one over everyone's head to the backstop. The ball dies and getting in to score is Sean Fizz. Scores on the wild pitch. Still a 1 2 though. He still can try to get out of it. This one gets on the ground, gets to the backstop as well. Another one at the plate, and another run scores. Whether well, playing a factor today for sure, folks, as Fitzgerald scores on back to back wild pitches. Steach to third, and it's like that. It is 4 to 3 in the top of the second. Of 11 p. 
p.m. So hopefully we are able to be wrapped up well by then. But it's been a long the first inning and a half. Slap to the left side and takes a hop over the third baseman into left field and an RBI single for Zipper. Now batting for the Panthers, the third baseman, number 25, Max Tupchik. This game is tied up at four. So we're on the field having some problems, but I'm keeping a score book and I got four to four down. The bases were loaded and they cleared. Runner goes, throw from the catcher, sails in the center. Backup was there to keep it close and prevent any more advancing. That's a tough play for Maynard. Tells where it's blowing, how crazy the flags are going in center field. And there's a strike for Smith and Johnson. With 34 ball ball wins from the south. Let's see if WFAA weather app. And a ball, no ball that gets through. And making his way to third is Zimmer. Got to the backstop again. Almost had it. Maynard almost had it trapped up there, but just squeaked through. To Zimmer at third. The go ahead run. The 3 1, and that walks. Tochik. Now batting for the Panthers, the center fielder, number two, Jake Krause. Second walk issued by Smith Johnson. He also hit a batter with three free passes and five outs recorded. Now they're at the corner for Jake Krause, who had an RBI hit back in the first. That one fouled straight back and very close to the stands. It just clipped the top of the net, I think, before dropping down. Now it's 0-2 to Kraus. Smith Johnson dying to get out of the inning. Contacts up for a second, but Smith Johnson will just go get it himself and take it to first himself, taking no risk. Smith Johnson records the final out, but not before some damage is done. Three hits, one walk, three runs.
Royals. Lead left fielder number 21, Leo Salas. Hey, welcome back. Second half. Second inning. Bottom half of action. Good is back out there on the mound and met by Leo Salas, the off hitter. Salas takes a ball one. He singled. Back in the first inning, then came around to score, and he lifts this one in the center field. See if the wind can take it a little bit. Back in the right center alley as the right fielder coming all the way across to make the catch. Brock Zimmer for foul number one. Sebastian Lopez. First pitch to Sebastian Lopez for a strike. Lopez also singled in the first, came around to score is a common theme for the Royals. Good is working from the stretch, still with no one on, and the big swing and miss on a breaking ball from Lopez 0-2. Sign sets and delivers the 0 2. Just too low. That one fouled off the umpire's mask. Didn't even flinch. While she landed in the on uh, in the uh, on deck circle. One and two. No pass defense point straight up. No one high and inside even as the count. That one's high and runs it full. Full count, one out, no one on. Lopez fouls that straight back over everything. See if that gets down, make a diving effort, no good. Gets past and all the way to the wall. Chris Gerald could have come up with it and all the way in the second base it is Lopez. With a one out double. Now batting for the Royals. The first baseman, number 29, Manny Salas. Not good enough, that is our first extra base hit of the game. We have nothing but singles up to this point. Singles, walks, hit by pitches. Give us choices. But that one's for extra bases. And puts a runner to position with one away and many salads at the plate. It'll take that one for ball one. Screamed 
foul off the left side, pops away for Salas. Goes towards the Panthers bullpen. Well, that one might have ended up. One-one, and Goda steps off and looks back at second. And no one to throw to, but threaten to throw it. Back at Lopez. Just the one-one, and no one's lost off the ball. Catcher doesn't catch it cleanly. Sneaks away enough to allow Salas to get over. A couple of wild pitches. That's the first one I'd call a pass ball. Put that one on the catcher. Alonzo Torres, I'm assuming back in. Oh, actually, I don't know. I don't think Torres did make it back in. And a swing and a miss for strike two without Sib. Yeah, it doesn't look like a four catching anymore. So Torres may actually be done. I'm trying to make out the number, but the strap on the back makes it a little difficult. And it's two twos fouled out of play. Again, the number impossible to make out right now. We'll have to keep an eye on it. We didn't catch the official change, but here's the 2 2 from Gerdes. That one's fouled off, same. Well, as the last three. You'll sit over there for a souvenir. Behind the Panthers' dugout. Putting the fair play deep in the right center, going back and catching it right in front of the wall. To record the out with tagging and scoring it is Lopez. It was a nice catch in deep right center by Brock Zimmer. Now batting for the Royals. Number one, Christian Smith Johnson. Well, that'll be an RBI sack fly for Salas. And the Royals retake the lead. And that brings Christian Smith Johnson back to the plate. He reached first on the field of choice, being able to play back in the first, stole second base, and then came around to score eventually on. Jackson should be icing. Man, that's shot the left off the third baseman's glove, picks it up. Still in the late throw across the diamond and record the final out. Max Tochik, nice recovery after the ball. The Royals five, Panthers four. So in that inning, the it's going to be one hit, one run, nobody left on.
one, two. It's Richland five, Culver four. More Royals baseball in a moment. Top of the third from Richland Yard. Back on the mound, Christian Smith Johnson, and he's met by Trent Bauer, first baseman, and flew out back in the first inning. His second AB here, and he is even up one and one on the pitch count. One one misses for ball two. See if we can get a frame without any runs. The four frame, frames played, at least a run scored in each of them. As that one's in there for a low strike to count, even up at two and two. Panthers got one run in the first, three in the second. This one to third and just foul. It'll bring Bauer back. He had taken off. Jim Bauer coming in, one of the few home runs in the team. He's got a couple. Driven in eight, scored five runs himself. It's got a little pop to it. And this ball straight up, kind of in my area. I might have to make a play. It's going to land right to my right near our, our public address crew. I didn't bring my glove, but I would have had to make a play if that came to me. Stays at two and two. Bauer back in or resettled the pitch and has to hop and get out of the way. That went towards the end. Was up to the count of four. That one scorched foul off the right side out of the park. I wish I had the dimensions on the wall. I'd love to know what it takes for a home run here. I'll work on getting those as soon as I can. Can't quite catch it on your, on your screen, but on the left field side, kind of right behind the left fielder, that's a pitch that gets away, but it's ball four and no one on, so no harm other than the walk. Bauer walks to lead off the third. 
Now batting for the Panthers, number six, Sean Ferris. Anyways, even left field. On your left field, right under the last set of lights in play. There is the the retiring of Trent Grisham's number, number 24. Trent Grisham plays number B for San Diego Padres. Nice little career so far. And he was a royal. Now into the batter's box for Pummel Heritage, Sean Ferris. And he takes strike one. Now this one, a slow hit to third. Third base has to come way in to make the play, and it does. As Jackson Strickland making the play. Runner moves to second. It's kind of similar. Now batting for the Panthers. Actually, figure it out. Brady Fitzgerald. I thought it was Ferris that had that little butt that Smith Johnson picked up and threw in the center field, but it was actually this guy, Brady Fitzgerald, who did that back in the start of the second inning. He came around to score. Ferris, Fitzgerald, Torres. Wait, Torres not on deck. Will Rasmussen Sr. on deck. So it doesn't look like Torres' night is done after taking that ball to the face. Didn't seem to be a lot of pain as this one's popped up. Foul. Gonna just get outside the net. One and two. Coming to Fitzgerald. Runner on second with a long way. And a 5-4 ball game. Still early, top three. This one inside. Two and two. Two, two. That's way low. Skips and gets to the bat stop and easily trotting down to third is Bauer. I don't know if I was if I was able to count every wild pitch, but I, know, I think I've got five wild pitches on Smith Johnson. Now I'm count is four. Time right on third. The three two. Slap the third, and we're gonna go foul. Do it again. And this one, slap the third baseman again. He comes home with it, tag at the plate, and they get him. They prevent the run from scoring. Jackson struggling to Maynard. And they get Bauer out. out. The Panthers, number one, Will Rasmussen. The fielder's choice for Fitzgerald. first. Ball kind of in the dirt. Maynard picks it up, throws behind the runner at first and scurries back. Yeah, so now batting is the senior Will, Will Rasmussen. Rasmussen just 10 plate appearances on the season. Kind of serves as a backup guy, but He's got three hits, all of them for singles, and an RBI. He scored a couple runs, been hit by a pitch. He's ahead of Smith Johnson, 2-0. That one's right in there for a strike, yeah. I think Smith Johnson's got to attack this hitter. Just 
those strikes, make him hit it. Make you get some help from these strong winds. Mustin steps out, readjusts himself a little bit. Long delay. Smith Johnson ready, and that one's outside. Three and one. Smith Johnson, the three one, puts that one in there. Runs it full, runner will be on the go. Full count, runner goes, and that one's just high at the letters. That's just the ball's walking, got to pick things up. Gotta make sure I grab all my life and don't lose anything. Weston Ballard, he struck out in the second inning. He was the first strikeout of the night for Smith Johnson. He struck out back to back with the bases loaded. Thought he was going to get out of it. He gave up a couple here. Another one that bounces off of Maynard's glove. Gets to the backstop. Both runners advance. And into scoring position. Slap the third, their baseman picks it up. He's got to throw across the diamond and throws it too high. Bounces down with the dugout back to right field. A pair of runs will score. An error from Jackson Strickland. And he knew he didn't have the force out of third. He probably should have still tried to make the tag. On. Rasmussen, when he was coming to third, two outs, runners were going off the contact. They had a chance. So they just tag him or at least give him a rundown and try to get him that way. Since we have a mound visit, but I think a pitching change. Two teams place the Alabama for the Royals. Number 26, Colton Williams. Williams now pitching for Richland. Colton Williams will cover the pitch. We'll take a quick break with it. More Richland at baseball in a minute. Back over 
for the Panthers. That's Cash Lyle up to hit the leadoff hitter in the DH. 0 for 2 in this game. With a fly out and a strikeout. Struck out on three pitches last time he faced Smith Johnson. Smith Johnson out and a new right handed pitcher in the game. That's Colton Williams. Rocket number 26. And the first pitch he threw was belted to center. Getting back. And under, though, is Colton Robertson. And it's one pitch, one out. That would do it for the top of the second. For the top of the second was two runs. Really no hits, two runs, one walk, zero hits. Back for the bottom of third. Royals trail. Panthers six to five, and catcher Marshall Maynard will lead us off. Stop bottom of the third. Bernie is back out there for his third inning of work. And first pitch is four ball. Walked in his first plate appearance back in the first. And shoots this one foul. He goes up one and one. That one's outside. Four ball two. Two one. That's a little low. Now, uh, it was for sure Rasmussen batting in the place. Of Torres. It's not less less than catching. There must have been some switches in the field. As the 3 1 pitch is inside, and for a second time, Marshall Maynard is on via the walk. Now back to the Royal Jackson It's kind of a uh, cardinal sin for coaches, uh, <laughs> for the players to give off lead off walks. A lead-off walk often equates to <laughs> runs in some sort of way. He brings up Jackson Strickland, who had an RBI hit in the first inning. Stands in. 
Right hand hitter to the side of the box, righty on righty, and first pitch gets away, it's low in the dirt, to the backstop, and to second base is Maynard. Got a lot of WPs on my scorecard today with this furious wind. Checks back second a few times now, delivers too high, 2 0. Got the weather at 32 mile per hour wind, 73 degrees. Wind doesn't feel like it is. That one's chopped up the middle, has a chance to get through. Dining second baseman smothers it, but has no play. Infield hit for Strickland first. Nice job keeping that ball from getting too far, but got dirty and couldn't make the play. Now batting for the Royals, number seven, Justin Chirinos. And Maynard did get over the third, so runners in the corner is with no outs and. Justin Chirino set the bat. He, sh he struck out in his first appearance and tries to bunt, and that one goes foul off the left side. One, two, Torino struck out looking against Gerdes. Back in the first. This ball is good down the left side and in play. Run will score. The throw to first will get Torino's, but runner advanced to second and a run scored. Now batting for the Royals, number three, Tanner Paris. And that will nod things up at six. Late night, windy shootout in North Richland Hills, Texas. And trying to bunt and This one foul. That's Tanner Paris. Tanner DHing. Reached on the error. Back in the first, and that was that error on the first baseman, Trent Bauer. So showing by it. One out and runner on second. Gerda steps off and resets. Long wait, checks back second, now throws. Harris pulls back the bunt, runner goes on the ball in the dirt and reaches the third. Couldn't move him over on the bunt, so move him over with his own legs. Strickland the third. Harris with a 0-2 coming up, umpire stops the dust off home plate. Long way 0-1-2, the lefty, and this one's up in the air, and play foul territory, and over to make the catch is Max Tochik. Hey, 
Now batting for the Royals. Number four, Caesar Ibarra. It's two away, runner on third, and Caesar Ibarra up to bat. He grounded out the second, his first appearance. This one shot down the left side, foul. This one right at the second baseman, some good contact, but easy scoop and throw for Sean Ferris, and that's the end of the third inning, but couldn't have ha couldn't have a frame without a run being scored still. Six in the Royals six. As Royals scored one hit, one walk, one run, and a leave one on base. Leave. Play three, it's Richland Royals, it's Colorado Hayes Panther six. We're back with more Richland Royals baseball on Vipe Live in a moment. Brock Zimmer leading off. He is one for one. It's an RBI single and a walk. He's moving on the base. He hasn't come out of score, but this one is belted the left, going back and bouncing up against the wall. It's retrieved out there by Rio Salas. Coming around for third and just in there safely is Zimmer. In a lead off triple. Now batting for the Panthers, number 25, Max Tochik. That's what you'll call that. For Brock Zimmer. Again, facing Colton Williams now. Who came in for Smith Johnson last inning after two and two thirds. And Threw one pitch, got one out. There is no one to touch it, touch it. One for one with a single and a walk, and get out of score in the first inning. Chick. 
Williams. The big righty delivers and pulled the string on him. Struck him out swinging. Big time pitch by Colton Williams. Now batting for the Panthers, number two, Jake Krause. He's up Jake Krause. Right on third and one away. RBI single. One, two to cross. That's high. Two and two. Steps out, hits this one at short, runs going to score, and they'll get the out at first. Okay. Ground out to short for Kraus. The streak continues. We've had a run in each half frame so far. A 7 to 6 Panthers lead. Football scores working for us, and this brings up Trent Bauer, who's 0 for 1, the fly out and a walk. Bauer was thrown out at home. Back in the third, and the ground ball to third. Missing Bauer. Bauer with 11 hits coming into this game. Just, again, just three of them fresh bases, but a couple of homers. Those wins coming, it's going to be hard to get one to leave the ball, so he keeps it on the ground. Chopper to short, backhand long, throw across the diamond, gets him. Very nice job by Cesar Abara, and that ends the inning.
Now batting for the Royals, number 21, Leo Salas. Bottom of the fourth, top of the order to start things off. Four, the Royals, Leo Salas, Sebastian Lopez, and Manny Salas. The guys have had some success earlier in this game. And Gomez back out there. His fourth inning of work and first pitch outside for ball one. Salas one for two with a single and a fly out. Him around the score in the first. That one's way low in the dirt. Quickly 2 0 to Salas. Lopez on deck. He's got a couple of hits and a couple of runs scored. No to Salas, and this one's up in the air. Foul territory right side. A lot of real estate out there, but not enough. Just gets out. Oh, the edges on the right side. Strike one. Salas resets and stands back in. And rips this one left side. That's going to be fair inside the left field line all the way to the corner. Having to go find his Brady Fitzgerald. And just now gets the in to stand up double for Leo Salas. And we off the fourth inning. Number two, Sebastian Lopez. That brings up Sebastian Lopez who has the other extra base hit for the Royals. He doubles back in the second. About two extra base hits on the night. For the Royals, the double from Salas just now and that double from Lopez in the second. He's looking to tie things back up. Got a poor mission, no out, shows Bart, gets it down. Perfect sacrifice Bart to Godo, and Godo overthrows first. That ball's to the corner, easily scoring against Salas. That ball's still down in the corner. Lopez is going to round second, come to third. And the runs keep coming. Game is knotted up at seven. Now batting for the Royals, number 29, Manny Salas. He won. Sends Lopez the third. Scores Salas. Scores Leo Salas. Now this brings up Manny Salas, the lefty, first baseman, who's officially. One for one, because he had a single in the first, and then a sacrifice fly for RBI in the second. First pitch he sees, chops at the first, and grounds out to Trent Bauer. Pretty good assisted. First out of the fourth. Brings up Christian Smith Johnson, who's starting pitcher with two and two thirds. Struck out a couple, but pulled up four. He's gotten things with his bat. He had a RBI on a fielder's choice after beating out a double play. Back in the first, hit on the score, and then grabbed it out to third in his last split appearance. Take the first two pitches for balls and quickly 2 0. Oh. 2 0 to clean up hitter 
Peter Smith at Johnson. That way he's high in 3 0. Again, just one runner on. It's Lopez at third. You do got a base to put him on and try to set up a double play opportunity. You got little lefty and Marshall Maynard on deck, the catcher. And the 3-0 swinging and fouling it off is Smith Johnson. Clubber still says 72, which I can feel a little colder. 3-1, no contact in the play, a bouncer, in first play in, it gets over. The short stops head, that's an RBI hit for Smith Johnson. Lopez scores. It was Ballard trying to make the play. Now batting for the Royals, number 25, Marshall Maynard. The area really comes back to haunt. Two runs have scored and made it eight to seven. Original has regained the lead. That ball is low in the dirt and Smith Johnson sees it and goes. Smith Johnson a great athlete. He's a safety for the Richland football team. He'll be able to do it all. Plays defensive back. One of the better athletes, pitches for the team, back cleanup and Panthers gonna go out there and have a roll. I believe that's Kobe Goodman again. Some interesting coaches here for the Panthers. I already spoke on McDougal or well, Kobe Goodman graduated from Fossil Ridge High School in 2009 and we played baseball. He graduated from Charleston State in 2013. This is Goodman's ninth year of coaching and second tenure at Colorado Heritage. He's if we coach that JJ Pierce, Carlo Heritage, and Denton Braswell for coming back and serves as the pitching and catching coach for Panthers now. He talks to his guy, gets him calm. Maynard steps back in, now he calls time. The 1 0 count, we're on second, one away. Ball bounces in front of the plate. Nice block by our catcher. Two and oh. Two Maynard who's one for two. We're actually officially 0 for 0 with two walks. And carry on the score on the walk at the third. And a step off by Gerdes. Maynard, the big lefty. Waits a 2 0. Lifts that one high in the air, but not very deep. Shortstop looking for it. Comes back into the dirt. And Makes the catch, Weston Ballard. Now batting for the Royals. Number eight, Jackson Strickland. Two away, two away, Jackson Strickland will step in. The runner on second still. Strickland. He's two for two. The pair of all with a pair of singles and one of them being via the infield single. And Smith Johnson going for third to throw down. And he is called safe by our outfield umpire. What a move with two outs. Attempting to steal a third. Knock in a little hit, 
guarantees a run, which you can't get enough in this game. Again, 8 to 7, bottom 4. We have had runs in every single frame. Including two so far in this one. It's now holding two to Strickland. Reno's on deck. O2, that's high. Panthers dugout. Ball low in the dirt. Nice block. All right, catcher. Yeah, it's going to be either Cooper Powell or Brady Fitzgerald. But Brady Fitzgerald was and left when the game started. And Panthers have to make some switches after Alonzo Torres took the ball to the face. That one's high, and Strickland has got it full three and two. on base, we've played four, it's pitching Royals eight, Colonel Heritage. Yeah, Sean Ferris to lead off for top of the fifth inning. Brendan Snow on the Vipe Live Network to you from Richland High School, Richland Yards. Colton Williams back on the mound for another inning of work and starts out Sean Ferris with the strike. Ferris one for two with a single. 
came around to score on it as well as then in the second inning and that one scorched back over all of our heads. Swing and miss, and he stepped down on three pitches. Yeah, it's the first strikeout for Williams. Now that in for the Panthers, number nine, Brady Fitzgerald. Brings up. Brady Fitzgerald, and he'll take the first pitch for strike one, Fitzgerald. Uh, officially one for two, but it scored two runs. He had the butt back in the second inning and beat it out to first, and then came around to score, and then the third inning, we just had a fielder's choice and came around to score. Williams working from the wind up. Big step and throw. And little right outside. One and one. Two and one. Scratch that. And Will, Will Rasmussen on deck. And it's been Rasmussen who's been. Pitching a little lately. Fitzgerald takes that one for a strike. It's two and two. Williams looking to strike out two in a row. Big breaker, but doesn't break enough. Full count. Got him swinging. Right through that one. Back to back K's for Williams to start the top of the fourth. Now back for the Panthers. Number one, Will Rasmussen. So Rasmussen will come in. He walked and came around to score in his first appearance back in the third. First pitch from, from Williams. Wasting no time. Getting back on the mound. Getting ahead of him. That one's going to be low. One and one. The 1-1, oh, one, one, chop the third, has it, throw across the diamond, and that will do it. Jackson Strickland over to the main side for the out, and that's our first frame where run was not scored. A 1-2-3 inning for the Royals. No hits, no runs, no rocks, nobody left on. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth. It's... Eight to seven Royals over the Panthers on the Vibe Live Network.
Leading off of the Royals, number seven, Justin Chirino. Bottom of the fifth inning. Royals back up to bat. And leading us off will be Justin Chirinos. And he'll take ball one. Chirinos, one for one, struck out working. Oh, struck out looking. And had a sack, but that scored a run in the third. We'll take that one for a strike. Trinos, Taylor Paris, and Cesar Ibarra. The three do up and just. Trinos takes strike two from Will Rasmussen. Torino steps out of the box for a moment, now it turns. Betting lefty against righty, and this one's popped up right in front of me, gonna stay in play. Who's looking for it? The second baseman comes all the way in. To make the catch, Sean Ferris in the grass, closer to the pitcher's mound on the first base. In his own base. Now batting for the Royals. Number three, Tanner Paris. First pitch fouled off the of ball one. Tanner Paris. 0 for 1. Reached on an error in the first and popped out to third. In the third. Now he's behind 0 and 2. Attack right side, second baseman to his left. He's got it over the first. Sean Ferris to Trent Bauer. And a quick two away. Put out an assist for Ferris in the last few at-bats. And here is Cesar Abar. Smacks one to the right center gap. That's going to get down. Roll to the wall. Big round to first base, but getting back. Nice job tracking it down quickly in the alley. Brock Zimmer. He's been a very impressive fielder out there on the right. Gets through and holds the ball to a single. And that will bring up. Leadoff hitter Leo Salas. Salas a big swing and a miss. First pitch he sees. to Salas. After readjusting, he is set. Pick off back to first. A little close, but back safely is Amara. And Salas, two for three with a single and a double. 
Runner goes, a bar, a bar to the low, and no throw down. Really probably a wise decision with the way some of these throw downs have been going. With this wind, a lot of them have been reaching the outfield. With two outs, just keep the runner as close as you can. Two to Salas, two outs. Runner on second. Could be a whole inning with no runs after it'd been a runner, at least in every half inning frame. Top of the fifth. Panthers didn't score to break the streak. Wes Messon steps off, checks the rubber. Out here, talk to the ump a little bit. I think he's he reassuring what the count was. It's one and two. It was a very quick exchange. All coaches and officials seem to be on the same page, and they're set for the one two to Salas. That's low. Bounces away a little bit, and getting down the third is Amara. This one straight back foul. down a little bit between pitcher and hitter. Just messing ready, throws, low, runs the count full. Two outs and a runner on third. Can't get the free run. No one behind you, but good opportunity for Salas. Lopez is on and back behind him. He's been on base all three times. And this one's fouled off behind us again. Going that bat. For Leo Salas, the left fielder. Barra leads off third. The 3 2, low and away. Ball got to the backstop, but Abar didn't have a quick jump on it and holds. And the walk is issued. Now batting for the Royals, number two, Sebastian Lopez. When you pay your own bills, you don't have to check. If they know the same boat, then they got to check. We just got a freight load. It's a lot of stuff. Third time Silas has been on base and four ABs. And
Pitcher on the mound, Brock Zimmer. He will be facing Sebastian Lopez. To kick things off with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth and a runner on third. So could be some important insurance runs in the eighth to seven ball game right there on the third in the bottom of the fifth. So Brock Zimmer will look to get out of it. Righty. And he sneaks that one in there at the top of the zone for strike one. Trying to see if I can get to some of Zimmer's pitching numbers. He's pitched about six innings in relief. And runner goes before the ball is even thrown by Zimmer. Trying to set maybe a double steal. Goes to third. The ball gets back. And the runner takes second. Salas had him getting ready to throw to second, but then he tried to go back to third with two outs. With two outs, I think you had Salas at second base to get out of the inning, but works well for the Royals. Two runners in scoring position, 0 1 to Lopez, who's Two for three and swings to that one for strike two. Lopez singled and scored in the first, doubled and scored in the second. Reached on an error via the pitcher in the third and scored. So three runs scored for Sebastian Lopez. An eight to seven ball game. Here is 0 2. All the Panthers on the field in the stands right behind me to my left. I thought it was strike three. Oh, I gotta correct the, the, the Panthers crowd. This has been a Royals home game. I mean, the Royals do have fans here, but the Panthers just been a little, a little bit more into the game. They have been louder. I don't know if it's because I'm sitting a little closer to their side, but they yeah, have been more of a presence. The one two fouled off. Wings right through it, strikes them out, swinging. That will do it for our fifth inning. One hit, one walk, zero runs, two left on. We play five, coming down to the final few innings. It's
Panthers. Number seven, Weston Ballard. First pitch to shortstop Weston Ballard to start. Top of the six is high for ball one. Ballard. Over two. Struck out in the second. Never in the third. Big gust of wind comes through. Moreno fouled off. One's in, strike two, one and two. Colton Williams still working on the mound. He's done a solid job since having to come in. Big breaker just misses the inside of the zone. misses. Runs the count full for the leadoff hitter, Ballard. And he walks him. Adam, one, two. Missed three straight and walks the nine hole hitter. That's for three. Couple of fly outs and a strikeout. First pitch from Williams misses for ball one. Lyle shows Bart pulls back, takes the strike. One's high inside, two and one. You know, I think that's that is what's been as runner goes throw down the second has a chance and Gets him. Maynard throws out. Ballard trying to swipe second base. But I finally figured out what's happened with all the the pitching change and the catching change that happened much earlier. Again, I don't talk to any officials or get any official word. It's kind of on my own. So Cash Lyle started as the DH. He's been the one on the play catching after Torres went out. Just takes that one for ball three, runs the count full. So, Lyle went from the DH spot into the field to catch. Three two inside and Cash draws a walk, so it's back to back walks issued. By Williams to start the sixth. 
Now batting for the Panthers, number 14, got, Brock Zimmer. Got some help to throw out now. Uh, like a courtesy runner. We'll head the first. Lyle doing the catching. Didn't get the number one runner, but he gets a slight lead off first and Williams immediately checks him. Let's him know that he knows he's there. And that one is smoked to the left. Fair down the left field line. Cutting it off short of the wall. Salas and the long single. The block Zimmer. Now batting for the Panthers. Number 25, Max Tochik. Max Tochik will come on. Up to the plate with two on and one out. Top of the sixth inning. We're over two hours and 20 minutes since first pitch. First pitch to Tochik is too high for ball one. Dirt flies up in the wind, creates a little bit of dust storm. This one's popped up, starts fair, but now soaring foul in the wind. Way foul territory near the bullpen. Able to make the catch between the first baseman and right fielder. Was Manny Salas and Justin Torino giving chase. Second baseman's watching both best players up the there too. This one is ripped in the left center, way on his horse, and able to find it and make the catch. Runner way off second, chance to double him up, and they do! A double play! Colton Robinson in center field for a impressive catch, and then the throw in the second. For the eighth third double play. And that would do it for the top of the sixth inning.
Leading off for the Royals. Number 29, Manny Salas. And back for the bottom three with a sixth inning. Royals holding on to an 8 7 lead. A couple scoreless innings now from the Panthers. Royals still looking to add some insurance for to the final frame. Brock Zimmer facing Manny Salas to lead things off. Salas rips that one left side foul. Manny, one for two officially, got a single, an RBI stack fly, and grounded out the first base unassisted back in the fourth. Here's the 1 1. Big swing to miss at the high heat. 1 and 2. Randy Silas, Christian Smith Johnson, Marshall Maynard do up the 3 4 5. Hoping this is the last time they have to bat. Here's the 1 2 from Zimmer way high. Nice snag by Cash Lyle, the catcher. Even up 2 and 2. Two, 2 Set foul to play. Third base side again. Again, in the high school, it's not like MLB where you just let balls go all the time and say goodbye because we've got more. You, why don't you track these balls down? There's a kid in the stands or an extra player. Someone will. Salas fouls off another. Keeps it at 2-2. Two and two. Salas swung and missed that first high fastball early in the game and then has held off the last two. Zimmer, high and outside, nice job by Salas, bouncing back to draw the walk. Start off our sixth inning. Number one, Christian Smith-Johnson. mentioned earlier how it's a kind of cardinal sin to walk a lead-off hitter because it only comes back to bite you. Know. Colton Williams walked the first two hitters in the inning. He walked Weston Ballard and Cash Lyle. But when he walked West Ballard, he was trucking out trying to steal second, or he was throwing down that is trying to steal second. But Lyle was up the bat, and then Lyle drew the walk. And then they were able to get out of that. They were seeing the Colton Robertson double play. Oops, Christian Smith and Johnson up to the plate. He is. One for three, reached on a fielder's choice in the first and scored. And got an RBI off the fielder's choice. Grounded out to third in the second and an RBI single in the fourth. Sort of steal of third base earlier. Throw back to first. Not in time to get Salas. Zimmer steps off, resets, now gets ready. 1-0. Fouls are off. Trying to play some small ball with this weather. A runner on first and one insurance run could go a long way.
The 1-1. One, one. That's over and in for a strike. From the stretch, the 1-2, and now throws back to first. Not in time. The Royals got four runs in the first, one in the second, one in the third, two in the fourth. Did not score in the fifth. They get their runs. The Panthers, one in the first, three in the second, two in the third, one in the fourth, and then zeros in the fifth and sixth. Six total hits for the Panthers and eight hits for the Royals. That one's low in the dirt for a ball. Two two from Brock Zimmer. It goes, ball sit high in the air, but not deep at all in the infield. And it's missed. With a no infield fly rule, just going on second. So they get the lead guy at second. It was a wacky play. It's the third baseman that was all the way in here close to home plate. They couldn't make the grab. And Max Toshik. I didn't think that was intentional at all. I was, I was, I was waiting for the infield fly rule call and I remember no one was on second base. That's why there was none there. Just the one runner on first, so it went away. In the bottom of the sixth, and still one on first. Count 2 0. He's 0 for 1 with a pair of walks. Came around the score on one of them in the third and flew out or popped out to short in the fourth. Here's a 2 0 to the lefty. That's slow and away. Quickly 3 0 to Maynard, which he only walked twice looking for the, the hat trick of walks. Behind Maynard is Jackson Strickland. Three oh to Maynard, see if he's got the green light. Wind settles down for a moment, maybe the perfect time. Takes four strike. Pick off the first, close. <laughs> the Panthers swear they got him, but umpire says no. And again, we get stuff at this level, um, you know, officiating, umpiring, with just two guys. You got your home plate umpire and the umpire standing around second. He's got to make those calls at first. Runner goes on the three-one, but Mayor walks anyway. Third walk of the night for Marshall Maynard. And then you got Jackson Strickland, you got a pair of hits in RBI. Or umpire, umpire calls time and comes to the Panthers dugout. I don't know if there's 
didn't check a score or a lineup card or anything, so there's no really any discrepancies with that. But he is talking to Coach Alan McDougal. Might crowd Mike closer to the umpire next time. Get him mic'd up. Let's go. Let's go. That brings up Jackson Strickland with two on, one out. Important insurance runners on base. Strickland right-handed hitter, left side of the plate, righty on righty. Puts that one in play, third, third baseman steps on third, across the line, turns two, that's coaching. Turns the 6-3, or the 5-3 double play, and ends the bottom of the six just like that. There's no hits, two walks, no runs, one runner left on. We have played six. So, the Royals eight, Harville Heritage Panthers seven. We'll be back for the seventh inning in a moment on the Viper Live Network. Number two, Jake Krause. And back in the Richland yard for the seventh inning. Led off by cleanup hitter Jake Krause. Center fielder is two for two. And first pitch, it's still Colton Williams out there for strike one. Yeah, Cross has a, a pair of RBIs. Well, actually, one's an RBI ground down, one's an RBI. Two. Chops this one a little foul. Quickly owned to. One and two. Williams from the wind up. The one and two. Breaking ball. Nice job waiting on it. Shortstop bobbles it. Ball out. No play. Tying run on first base and Kraus. Trent Bauer up to the plate and he's thrown out and walked. Oh 
That one is slapped to right, but nice job on the positioning by the right fielder, Justin Chirino. He's got that for out number one. Now back to the Panthers, number six, Sean Ferris. And that brings up second baseman Sean Ferris. He's single ground out and struck out. And he'll take a quick first pitch strike from Williams. Well, Williams has been pretty impressive in his work. He's coming on in the third. Runner goes, throw downs, got a chance, and they get him. Another runner thrown out for Marshall Bader. He got himself a game. Throwed out a couple runners and walked three times. Throws out Krause and it's two away. So now bases are empty. Go back to the stretch or to the wind up. And Ferris shoots this one foul and out of play. And it's 0-2 to Sean Ferris. Get a new ball. Williams on the wind up, ready to go. Here's the 0-2. Slap the third. Backhand stop, throw across the diamond, got him, and that's the ball game. <laughs> Great play by Jackson Strickland. Ten things. Eight to seven, Royals over the Panthers. And the Panthers seven. I want to thank you for coming. And a wild game. Let's put the final touches on.